Okay, I saw a lot of these questions. This one was upvoted a bit. We typically avoid these sort of things, but I do have a bit to add to this one. So anyway, I'll read the question out. A question for you both. What do you guys think about upcoming Intel Arc GPUs? Will they make a difference in this overpriced GPU market or just end up being a mess? So a lot of people asked about, you know, what do you think the driver is going to be like? You know, there's been rumors of this and that. And ultimately, how much does it matter? So, uh, and we've even heard about capacity, like they're only, uh, I think it was the news report was they're thinking of shipping 4 million GPUs yeah, this year. Yeah, which would only be like less than 10% of the total GPU market. Yeah, but market. even that, I feel like that would have a much more significant impact than people realize. Possibly. Dep I, I, I really think it- Depends on pricing and stuff. It yeah. depends on pricing. But I guess the point I'm trying to get at is, does it matter- if it's not quite as good as like even say a 3070, because if the pricing is right, I mean, we're seeing people really arguing for the 6500 XT to be a good product. So really whatever they make, if it's better than a 6500 XT and it's available and the price is somewhere around that region, would you, would you care? Yeah, I think like it's, it's better than what we had. It's definitely, yeah, there's definitely potential for it to be better mm -hmm. than what we've had. Hopefully I think, it would be. I think the 4 million number is probably a bit lower than I was expecting or hoping for. I mean, if total GPU shipments like 40 to 50 million a year and they're shipping 4 million, it's like, well, it, they could have made a bigger dent there. Sure. But also I kind of feel like, and I, I don't know whether the GPU market is going to continue improving. We have seen some improvements over the last couple of months, but it almost feels like they're launching it slightly too late to capitalize on that to the fullest yeah, extent. Timing like, hasn't been great. If those GPUs were available in, let's say, September and October of last year, or even earlier in the year, but mm -hmm. more realistically, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of months ago, mm -hmm. then yes, 4 million GPUs, even if it sounds like a small number, is going to make a huge difference because at that time, people were scrambling to get GPUs. They're yeah. so expensive. Whereas today, GPUs... Pricing is a little bit better. Availability is a little bit better. And if it's still going to be three months until they're launching or however long the rumors are suggesting, mm. I don't know. Mm. You know, are they going to miss out a little bit on that? You know, are they going to have to be even more competitive than they might have had to have been? Well, that ultimately ago? ends up being a good thing for everyone who's been holding out. But That's right. I'm not. Yeah. Basically, we have no insight, no real thoughts about performance or even drivers or anything like that. But for me, the success of the success of it, obviously you need the drivers to work, but yeah. the success of Arc isn't hinged heavily on the actual performance. Whatever performance we get, yeah. as long as the price it's the makes value. sense, yeah, as long it's as the, the value. value is good, then it doesn't really matter if it's even not as fast as an RTX 3070. If it's priced to compete with the cards in its range, then yeah. it's it's ultimately going to be a success. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. There's a lot of what ifs and maybes and we'll have to see. But yeah, I think don't focus so much on what the performance ends up being because... Yeah, and it, it, Intel is, you know, especially with things like 12th gen, they have parts that are very good value mm. and competing and more, very strongly. And the most exciting parts, yeah. Yeah, they're certainly the most exciting parts. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even if the performance, as you say, maybe doesn't live up to a 3070 mm -hmm. or 3070 Ti or whatever... You know, they're still, they're not a company that's just going to be like, oh, well, we're still going to try charge you $2,000 for that. Well, they like, can try, but it's not going to work They can try, well. <laughs> it's not going to work, but, you know, Intel does yep. produce budget products. Yes, they know how to. Yeah, there's certainly the possibility for that. Mm-hmm.